Welcome back to another advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and what we're gonna do here is exactly what you see on the screen. I have this little helper here, my drone and once I am well getting hit and my health as you can see on the, on the top left side is getting decreased it will heal me but it cannot do that forever and for example now at some point it will start reloading what you're seeing now. So if you want to know how to do that in Game Maker Studio, stay tuned. This is One Up Indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the good stuff. So what you're seeing is basically just my three states. The one, for example, if I'm not being hit and I have full HP, well, the drone is on idle. And then once I'm getting hit, as you can see, it, it displays a plus sign and then it heals me. And for example, at some point, well, it will reload, which I just showed you at the start. So how can we do that? As simple as possible. And because this is an advanced tutorial, I um, well, kind of demanding that you are on par with a few things because I'm gonna go over them quite fast. So basically, what is that stuff? No, 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 you go away, go away. Region. So what are we doing here? Region. You want? Okay. And then I call that AI. So the first part is the following and the uh, stuff which I'm not gonna go into because I did that in my last two videos, link in the description. This is just basically following and once we start it, basically that thing will just try to follow the player or the target, whichever the target is and just flip its image index and try to clump as close as possible to the destination point which we set up as somewhere here. So, so as you can see, bam bam, nothing is happening, it just tries to follow me. But that is basically it. For example, when the archer is hitting me, bam, health is being subtracted. Because, well, the drone has no instructions what to do. And we're gonna change that. So basically, here, I just have three images. One is for, it's being idle, so it's floating a little bit. The other one is healing, so as you can see with the plus sign, it's floating as well. And then one for loading, so bam, bam, bam very very easy to set up and this is basically it and these three just signify what kind of state we're having if you're thinking state set state machine yes it is so basically you're just learning how to do a very very simple state machine as well so first of all what do we need something like a state or i just call it state ai so you know what the little drone guy is basically doing so and now we can directly do something. I will just copy paste it because, well, the video will be long enough. And here I just say, all right, depending what kind of state I, I am having, am I idle? Jump to this sprite. If I'm loading, jump to this. And for example, once again, those guys over here. Nothing special about that. So basically this is just swapping depending what kind of state AI I'm having. So I can easily put it at the end so everything is smooth. The next thing is, and this is quite important, to check if my player is there or the thing which I am following. So basically I just do one thing and I just copy paste it because once again I'm a little bit lazy. And of course you can do that on the player or whatever you're following. You can of course call it target and put it in here but eh, nah, not for this tutorial and say all right is the player there do some action and i will do a little fallback for example is the player not there well i do something like this of course you cannot you can completely ignore that but basically it just says all right is no player there destroy the drone this is just basically all that instruction here and the next part is well now we have two choices because i just wanted two choices so you understand what is happening. So first of all, I do these things and I will tell you what they actually mean. I just copy paste them because this is more convenient for me. 
and hopefully for you too. So we do two checks. First of all is our for you is the object player but I have outsourced my HP to another object so I can do some more advanced manipulation but for you for example other stuff is basically in your player and then so don't confuse with eye control and the player. Basically for you it would be like something like this. But for me it works a little bit different so please don't get those things uh, well messed up. And for example here I have my HP and my max HP. So the first check is doing alright. Is the player below its maximum HP? Because then we can do some action. And I put in a second variable can here and this is very important for later. So we just say can hear. Yeah you can hear because at the start the drone can hear all the time. So we're just checking alright are we below our maximum HP and can we actually hear. Then we jump to our other state which is called healing and for example if you remember bam instantly our sprite will change. And for example if you're saying well, the player is there, but he has already maximum HP. So what am I doing? Well, just send him to idle because we don't have anything to do. And here, here we are already, well, pretty much sad because there's not much to do. And now we come to the more int interested part about if we are in those states, what are we actually doing there? So the first one is kind of here. I just call it the first state AI and I call it healing. So what are we doing in our healing? Well, a few things and first of all we need to distinguish a few things because we need to check our rights. Here we go, uh, so you understand what this all means. So are we having some healing power and I haven't put that into here so you understand what that is. Basically healing power is the stuff, your ammunition or whatever you like and I just call it heal power and it is at, at the start 100 and for example once it's drained well then you can later on reset it to its maximum value. So here's the maximum value bam then it always be reset it to 100. That is just basically how much you will heal for one time. And well, we just say, all right, are we having some healing power? Sweet, then we do something. But for example, what happens if we don't have, have any healing power because we kind of drained it? So for example, we say, all right, we are zero or even below. So what's happening there? Well, then we jump into another state, which I just called loading because, well, it is loading. Loading, bam, and here we do something with the can heal because for now we are just taking out the choice because here you can go between idle and healing but we don't want that we want it to go idle so it just follows because that stuff always happens but now it's not doing anything and for example we say then all right no can heal false and then we say loading because then we are in this specific state and in a few seconds I will just go into what's actually happening here so yeah let's just go into directly into that one so basically once our healing power is gone we just say go to the other state then we swip, we flip to our different image index then we say everything is being locked because hey you cannot and then we do one thing which I didn't include and I will do it now with our alarm. So I set up an alarm at the start and well, just our alarm zero. And this is just basically for resetting. Once you, the loading phase is done, bam, let's go into our regular phases. So what happens at our alarm? Basically we just say alright, now you can heal or be idle too, no problem. And our healing power is being reset to its maximum value. This is basically, and this is how you can signify it here. You just go along and go set. Which one do you want? Well, the zero one, and I don't know, let's say, what do I put in? 400. So 
a few seconds and after a few seconds well the alarm is getting set and then once it hits the alarm we can hear and the heal power is back online and then well we go to the dead loop again it's just checking all right am i can i hear so, or am i just being all the time I do. so let's go in here and for now we are just doing reset but we are not doing any healing this is where we come to the other part because now i need a second timer but i don't want to i won't be doing that with the alarm i just use my regular timer which runs down and every let's say 15 steps so basically four times a second you can heal with an amount of let's say five so i take this timer so we are in our healing state and we have power to heal so we just run it down and once it runs down we can do something like this so we just come on and here is what we are doing why right? did it cancel that all right so basically once the healing timer runs down we want to, of course to reset it and there happens the action action here we go and what do we do well we basically do a few things first of all we just reset our timer so we can do that all the time but now we want to have our healing power subtract from it the amount because we want to what well, subtract how much we want to take away so at some point it becomes zero and then well it has to reset and can go to your player but I have of course my eye control so basically just imagine that would be your player or whatever object you have and then we just add the healing amount but of course sometimes maybe you are just going over that amount and therefore we just take again this kind of value and clamp it no not like this clamp here we go what is clamp? Clamp is just basically just saying, all right, I want to do take this value and clamp it between two values. And clamping just means it can be between zero and its maximum value. So it never goes out all those values, which is kind of handy. Bam, here we go. And this is how it works. And already, for example, once we would start it, it would do its thing. And for example, we can start it now. And hopefully it already works for now it would be actually healing checking and checking and going out of its whole AI state so here we go zoom in a little bit and let's see bam as you can see the state is being changed and if you see top left it's healing me which is already nice but the last thing which I didn't show you is those particles which are just gonna get popped up Above it because for now the whole thing is finished let's see if it's going yep and now it's even loading so the last thing which we have to uh, check and, and do are those plus or just this little uh, uh, particles which we just pop and then I just used this little sprite here which I did for myself and well and I put in uh, particle setup because you need for a particle effect setup and have of course a few more but this is just for well, showing and using this one so you don't get confused because I have lots of particle effects already and then if you haven't seen particle effects I'll just go in quickly you need to create a system then the particle you want to do then set up the particle As you can see this it's the same and then I don't know assign it to sprite which I just showed you the plus sign then what I do, I just take and make it a little bit bigger once it goes up. And how can I make that? Well, basically I have a speed and direction which are pointing it first down. But then I have a gravity which goes up, so it goes a little bit down and then it goes up. And then I say, right, be all the time visible with my alpha and in the end fade out. And do that between 1 second and 10 steps and 1 second and almost half a second. This is basically it. This is how you can set up the, your particle 
and now we need to put it in and what do i do i just basically copy paste that stuff because this is quite long and now i see oh my god this looks difficult but it is not so what am i basically doing here i just say part particles create so if you see one of my particles tutorials very very easy basically i just create one my particle from the setup which you just put up uh, in here and i say i need my particle system and then well the position of the target so it's the player x and here i put an extra um, x thing which i'm just gonna show you in a few seconds and then well above the players uh, y so basically i take the, from the player the y position go a little bit higher because i wanted to do it a little bit above and then what do i want to spawn well my particle which is again sitting in this particle setup object and i just call it particle here did i call it like this yes i did of course i did um and then how many do i want to spawn just one so basically this code is basically saying are we in a state of healing yes do we have some healing powder yes then we are Yeah, we can leave that in here then we just run down the timer and if the timer is zero then we do some action we reset our timer we subtract the from the healing powder some stuff but add that to the player so we're just exchanging powers kind of from one thing to the other and then of course we clamp it because we don't want it to go over because this is getting because maybe you could go or uh, let's say uh, the player has been subtracted to 2 HP but you're giving them 5 so you would go over its maximum HP and we don't want that that's why we clamp it between uh, itself between 0 and its maximum value just to keep it safe and then in the end we just spawn a particle which we just set up and we can put it into the room at the start and then we do the last thing which I didn't show you come on come on, come on. I put in a random variable which is called xdev and I just say alright on the point I want to spa uh, spawn it go between minus 6 and 6 so it doesn't spawn in the same spot it will be just I don't know for example if we are let's say here and here's the player then it will be one of those points and will go up and this is basically it let's start it again And this is how it works. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if everything is working. So I have my thing. Come on, shoot at me. Bam, I'm getting healed. And as you can see, those particles are being spawned. And uh, that was it. Hopefully that was of interest to you. Have a good one. One up indeed.